I'd like to welcome back to the show, Chef Ansley, and we're switching it up today. We are at Publix at the Aprons Cooking School, and this is great. You know, we had the opportunity to kind of tour it, and I could see you in action. This we has to be nice you. to you because you're surrounded by all the tools that you need. Yes, yes, everything's at our fingertips. We know where everything is. We're gonna make a pan-roasted shrimp today with a sweet corn succotash. So we're gonna get going with the succotash first. I have our ingredients here. The base is gonna be that corn. We've got some bell pepper and onion, some shelled edamame, and some garlic. So we have a pan over here that we already have going with some oil. Yeah, that nice sizzle. <laughs> Always love it. Always love it. So we'll just start adding everything in, and we're gonna let this go for a little while while we work on a little herb blend that we're gonna add to it in just a few moments. We're gonna add this garlic in last. Um, just because the garlic will burn a little bit easier. So if we put those other ingredients in first, the garlic will um, not have to hit that heat as directly. All right. So if you want to start with the lime juice and the thyme first, because you can do all of that. Ooh, there we go. All right. And it's going to be about a teaspoon of our Rice vinegar. I am so not good at eyeing this, so. Uh, that one Mississippi for me. Ready? Three, two, one. One. <laughs> perfect. Oh, perfect. I don't know if that was. No, it's <laughs> okay. Nice. It's okay. It'll but, all even out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a lot of honey a in this. A lot of honey. You get, we got to balance correct the it problem. out. Yeah. So how much honey? Now, this comes out slow, so it'll be like <laughs> one Mississippi. Yep. So we're looking at also about a teaspoon of that, but I'll tell you when. All right, Wynn. All right, so we've noticed that this little herb blend we have going on, it's a little loose, but that's actually what we want because this succotash here, it's gonna start to caramelize in our pan and that liquid is gonna help bring up all of that fond on the bottom and it's gonna give us a great flavor. So I'm gonna pull us over and this is some shrimp. These are jumbo large deveined and I pulled the tails off. This is the shrimp that we're gonna use. Um, to this, we're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil and then if you pass that salt and pepper over, do a little bit of that salt on there, and then a little bit of pepper. I don't know if you know this or not, but if you use a little more salt, it actually helps to pull Ooh. out the flavor. So just a little something that I heard not too long ago. <laughs> Learning over here. <laughs> All right, so there we go. As that succotash is going, to our back pan, gonna kick up the heat a little bit more. We're gonna start to put these shrimps in. I'm not gonna pour them straight in because I don't want a lot of that extra oil. So we wanna make sure that they get that opaque on each side. We let them rest before we eat them. We tempt them to make sure that they're still fully cooked and in that temperature zone. And then we've got a nice, cooked piece of shrimp that's not overcooked. Look at that, nice dark colors. Yeah. Pour it right in. Over here is our um, goat cheese that we were talking about earlier. This is a kitchen trick that we're gonna use to get this crumbled when it's in a log. So we've got our log here. I stuck it in the freezer for a little bit because we want it to be a little bit firm and not as soft. And we're going to press it straight through this grate. Also, the nice thing is we're gonna leave it in the packaging and you just press it right through. So when you say press it, are we talking like Play-Doh type, fun kid toy push through? Yes. Or, okay, seriously? Yep. Palm it all the way, yes. Look at that, it's basically oh, yeah. crumbled right for us. Yeah, that is a nice little trick. This is a garlic and herb goat cheese, so you get some more of that nice garlic and herby flavor just like we put into that succotash. 
Well, that is great. To learn more, go to Publix.com, and I'm going to try to get a little combination of everything here in one bite.